So I think I might have gone too far. I really do think I might have gone too far this time. But maybe not. Maybe I should go further. Hello, my name is Stuart Chignall. And if you're, a, if you're new to this channel, then welcome. Um, but if you're a regular, you'll know that uh, occasionally I'll do a video on mental health. Um, which isn't, you know, fun. Um, and today I was having a shocking day. Um, we had the, we just got the boy out of hospital again last week and then he was back in again yesterday. Um, so instead of being productive today, I haven't, I've been pretty flat. But I have got stuff done, you know, soldiered on. You know, I've got one bottom board to do, I've got, um, I've got a bunch of quilt boxes to do and lids. Uh, and today and yesterday I was supposed to be doing quilts, but today my heart wasn't in it. And instead of just banging them out, getting them done, just to try and, I just started being creative rather than productive, but I might have gone a bit over the top. Now back in my, um, uh, back in my uni days when I was doing a Bachelor of Science, I did my sub-major with the textiles workshop which is a bit different. Now these girls are from the bay window cutout that I did and as you can see they've got a bottom board, they don't have a quilt but now they do. So this is the first one I was just started fiddling with today instead of banging out you know the ordinary ones like in the video and this is um, harking back to my textile days and then you know that helped me feel a little better so I can carried on and did another one um, who are these girls? Where did you come from? Oh, yes, that's the Drummond Swarm. I remember now. Um, so yeah, then I did this one, which I thought was better, an improvement. Um, but then I started to get carried away, because I started to enjoy myself. And I did this one. And I'm really pleased with how this one came out. Most especially because you can't see any screws. Held together through cunning and guile, but I'm really that. I think that looks fabulous. Um, but then I really started to get carried away and this is where I might have gone too far. But first let's try doing a twill weave, which if you don't know what that is, it's where you go over, over to, under to, in both the warp and the weft. But the bits of wood just went flying everywhere, um, so I need to make some sort of jig or loom to do that. So these girls are the ones from, um, from Bendigo, from the uh, brick column cutout. Uh, it was the first run of the, the BVAC Mark II. Um, I haven't actually published a video of me getting these girls yet. It's it's almost ready to get to get out. Um, so next day or two, I'll publish that. Uh, but this is the quilt box I did for them, and that is a full basket weave there. And I reckon that looks mighty fine. But you know, you might think I've gone too far. So I'm really enjoying making these hives, not just to be productive hives, but as um, well, they have to cope, really. Um, I, I do something constructive, I do something creative, I do something beautiful, and I feel better. And that helps me get through the day, and helps me get on with other stuff. I've just done this video to show you what I've, what I've been doing today. I so was not up for doing a video where I had to record stuff, and document it, and then edit the film, and then publish it. And that's given me the idea that maybe I should do that more often. Instead of producing videos showing what I do, Maybe I should do stuff. And then if you want to see it, you guys let me know, and then I'll take the extra time to make the video on how to do it. Otherwise, I'll just get on with making stuff. So yeah, let me know if you want to see the video on how I'm going to do this. Um, that will include, what I'm going to do is a makeup, um, basically a jig or essentially a loom to hold the strips of wood in place so I can do more complicated weaves without the bits flying everywhere. Um, and also get the spacing more even. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, if you do, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so that when the video comes up, you get notified. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.